Bob Huber, Vintage Lambo. Let's start talking about some Weber tips and we're gonna get into floats. And I'm really uh, just looking at floats themselves, not so much adjustment of the drop and when it shuts off fuel, uh, we're gonna get to that later. I'm starting at the ground floor. They've been checked, they don't leak, which is a darn good plus. And now what we wanna do is we wanna just inspect and see and, and visualize the floats first before we get into anything crazy. So first, let me just pick this guy up and I'm just gonna put this gauge, but this is just really finding out about the floats themselves. So with this in here, and we're gonna wiggle it this way. We wanna have that set. And we're seeing that, you know, this one is pretty good. It has just a slight this way, but it's so slight that uh, it, it, it's, it's not worth messing with. This one, that, that passes the test. Okay, let's go with this one. Again, we'll put this under here. We'll get it set pretty good. And uh, what do we have? We have the right float uh, is high and there's a slight twist to it. So since this is high on this right side, I'm gonna also uh, take care of the twist. So that one needs adjustment on that side to match this side. Let's go to the next, let's see what we got here. This is, well, this is pretty crazy. I have no idea why this is like that, wow. And these are how it, it came out of the car. But you can see this this float is, is definitely in bad shape. So uh, although there's no twist, so we have to bring down that right side. Okay, I think this one might be next. Let's check this guy out. And the right side is up just a hair. So we will adjust that. Let's go to this guy. Okay, there, there's just a, a, a hair twist this way, but everything else is real good. So I this uh, this guy is a hair up. So so we'll have to take care uh, of those two issues. If if that was level level, uh, it, it would have passed. It would have been like this one over here, but it didn't quite make the. Uh, full test okay now this one this one's kind of unusual uh, that this one veers this way this one is a little more severe veering that way so even though it's showing that it lines up as far as here and here uh, I'm gonna adjust the twist and and redo that so so that's it on this little uh, video you know, uh, once we get in the uh, metering valve and then we could uh, adjust for the uh, float drop so that lets the fuel in. And then for the valve to shut off at the top, uh, those are things that we'll handle a little bit later. But first, we have to take care of getting the floats in as good a condition as we can so that everything else goes easy. So please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.